talking again about the very very simple oscilloscope. Uh, this is only a vlog. I don't uh, publish schematics. The schematics are in the earlier videos. And I want to give the links in the description. This is the sawtooth generator that I made. <coughs> and I made a, a, a video, say, one or two days ago. And I had made here a, a fault in the, in the soldering of that um, generator. That sawtooth generator. And it looked as if my sawtooth generator was not perfectly linear anyway. So uh, <coughs> I repaired it and perhaps interesting to tell there is a 1k resistor here. There was a 1k resistor here but I've replaced it by a um, resistor of um, 3300 ohms and that gives a somewhat better result especially on the low frequencies. That's perhaps important and I will also tell about that in the text box. Furthermore, some further developments. Uh, the switch of the time base. I've indicated it now with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I made a switch that's perhaps important to tell with which I could bridge the uh, all the capacitors that were responsible for the time base frequency with a capacitor of uh, 27,000 picofarad. Yes, so uh, 27 nanofarad, 27 nanofarad, it's here. It's the brown mustard capacitor. Um, well, that had an effect and of course uh, th there are reasons for uh, bridging that, bridging the time base capacitors here. This is by the way the, the schematic that I always have showed in all the videos regarding this oscilloscope. And you see here a kind of bunch of capacitors, 100 microfarad that didn't work, 10 microfarad worked and with 10 microfarad we are in the 0 0.2 up to approximately 2 hertz range. Uh, with 100 nanofarad it's going higher etc etc. But the important thing is here that I mounted here this capacitor 27 nanofarad. And the reason is that not all these capacitors in that row overlapped the frequency bands. So it's very important uh, uh, that you have, for, uh, for instance, in a time base a frequency of 50 hertz and 100 hertz. That are two very important frequencies, so that's the reason why I made this, I use this capacitor here to give uh, all these capacitors a kind of overlap. And of course you know that when you switch a capacitor of one nanofarad that gives a frequency of say 22 kilohertz, kilocycles, and you bridge that over with a uh, 27 nanofarad capacitor, the frequency goes substantially down. Tested it all over during this uh, afternoon and it leads to this situation that we have here a switch of A and B and when I switch, uh, put the switch to, to position B we can get uh, uh, with bridging the 27 nanofarad uh, capacitor into the time base we can get to these frequencies. And here position A 
when that extra capacitor is not uh, switched in we go from say 0.2 Hertz up to approximately 20 kilo cycles so uh, this indication is perhaps not okay 6 maximum 22 kilo cycles because when the capacitor is switched in you can never get to 22 kilo cycles anyway take it for granted do the same tests try to make this circuit etc etc only an ID by the way so the time base frequency is now here we have uh, six positions it works from 0.2 Hertz up to 22 kilo Hertz so let me show how that all works I hope uh, this video series does not get too long my idea was always to uh, only publish say the final circuit but well there are so many things happening that are important to tell uh, that perhaps we go to uh, uh, 15 videos or so anyway that was not my aim my original aim but anyway so here the the front of the scope again scope under uh, uh, say, say when I'm working on it here the time base again etc etc time base switch so let's see on the oscilloscope of course you need a good properly working oscilloscope to develop this very simple oscilloscope kind of step back but of course uh, it's fun and interesting uh, let's look if we have the the dots so here you can see that dot I have my purpose moved it out of the screen because otherwise the screen will burn in on the central point of that screen and that's not uh, a good idea so that's a reason why I've used the horizontal and the vertical movement potentiometers to move the dot completely out of the screen so let's look at the SOTOS generator <coughs> sorry uh, here is here it is on 62 Hertz there are of course two important frequencies that we need when we do radio experiments say 50 Hertz and 60 Hertz perhaps also 25 Hertz and 10 Hertz and that's the reason why I have made this switch that bridges uh, the the capacitors in the time base so giving the capacitor an extra capacitance that means that the frequency goes down so now I've made on pin say with a setting of 3.3 uh, in the time base that I could get to 50 Hertz let's try and see turn the frequency potentiometer by the way it is a typical uh, high quality uh, potentiometer uh, with which you can fine tune uh, it's also wire wound but anyway you can also use say a typical carbon um, uh, potentiometer of 10k so let's see what happens want to tune to 50 Hertz now it goes up and now turning that potentiometer I want to go to 50 Hertz one of the most important frequencies or 60 Hertz one of the most important frequencies when you want to do experiments and now it's 55 Hertz 
that's too high. Again, try. It gets higher. So let's go to. Well, I made a mistake. Uh, I had to switch on uh, the switch to position B. So it also shows, say, the aim of this video uh, that you can correct, get to a uh, an other frequency band when you bridge uh, the time base uh, capacitor. So now to B and to point 3, that's here. And now I'm surely going to get to 50 Hz. So I can get now to 50 Hz. 50 Hz. And 60 Hertz. Let's try. Also interesting, of course, it says 56, 57. So 60 Hertz is also possible. And well, let's uh, switch between the different frequencies here. Between one, that's the lowest frequency in the in the 0 0.2 hertz range, to the maximum frequency that is approximately 22 kilohertz, and especially look on the waveform. That's of course interesting. Uh, so here is a there is here a frequency you can see it. It's very low. And now I go to 2. And that's a 8 hertz approximately. And here we see that the linearity is very okay. On 72 hertz, also on 50 hertz, by the way. Uh, Switch further. Six five eight hertz waveform. Further. Six point seven kilo hertz waveform. And finally, also six point. Oh well, that's seven point four, but. Let's now uh, say turn the potentiometer here to get to the highest frequency that this oscillator, square wave oscillator, can bring. 21 kilohertz approximately. That's not bad. And switch back. My camera will stop 14 kilohertz within a minute, so I have to stop this demo, though I think it was clear enough, 1.5 kilohertz. Hundred and seventy-five hertz. And here we are on the kind of lowest frequency that it can bring, 25 Hertz. Here the linearity lacks somewhat, but anyway no problem. And here to the lowest frequency that the circuit can give. Thanks for watching, I have to stop, my camera tells me that I have to stop. And hope to uh, meet you in the next video about this very simple oscilloscope circuit going perhaps to a maximum 30 kilohertz or so.